the pandemic may ch permanently change the way that we develop vaccines. This is also encouraging. Scientists say that the possibilities beyond COVID could impact how we treat all kinds of things, including cancer. Anusha Roy takes a look at the future of mRNA technology. First discovered in the early 1960s, the possibility that it could be used uh, in medicine first started being explored in the 1980s. There was a point where using mRNA was almost laughed at or not taken seriously. You know, the, the scientists are, are, are always skeptical and always very aware of the problems and the hurdles along the way. And it's the courageous, creative people that take on those difficult challenges. No one is laughing anymore. Without a doubt, this is the start of a new era. David Bentley is the co-director of the RNA Bioscience Initiative at Anschutz Medical Campus and has been studying this for 35 years. Have we permanently changed the way that we approach developing vaccines? I think so. I think so. The thing about messenger RNA technology is it's very nimble. It's very flexible. It's, can, it, it's a technology that can respond to a new challenge rapidly. Is there a way to apply what we've learned recently to other sicknesses? It's now conceivable that in the future, vaccines, personalized vaccines against cancer cells could be developed. So we know that cancer cells express abnormal proteins. If we could make, if we could immunize people against those abnormal proteins and use our immune system to, to fight the cancer, it's a very exciting possibility. It's not a reality yet. It's been a dream for a long time and mRNA technology might make that dream a reality. So the Association of American Medical Colleges said start adding other diseases to that list like hepatitis B, cystic fibrosis, TB and malaria. They said all of it warrants being researched because of the way mRNA technology can be tailored to different diseases. And especially after watching the effectiveness when you look at the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines, Kyle. Anusha, first off, David Bentley has a tremendous voice and he should like narrate science documentaries or something like that. Uh, second, though, <laughs> so you talk about some of the pluses of mRNA technology, how that might be used. Wh what are the drawbacks that they caution about? Yeah, I totally agree, Kyle. It was very captivating to talk to you today. And so, you know, one of the drawbacks to just keep in mind is we watch this concentrated focus and all of this money from around the world being poured into one specific uh, area, right? It was to develop one, co to develop the vaccines for COVID. And so there's a concern, right? Does that intensity keep up with all of these other ventures? And the hope is from the folks that we talked to today was that it's easier to invest in something that you've already seen work in this capacity and then hopefully that kind of research will continue into the future. You would certainly hope that with something like cancer we could get an equivalent global focus on it. Really interesting. Thank you very much Anusha. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.